Hello everybody, this is Amel and today I'm going to show you how to solve the minimum window substream problem. So given a string S and a string T, find the minimum window in S which will contain all the characters in T in complexity we go of N. So they give you, for example, string S here and string T, which is this one, and the minimum window that contains all the characters in T is this one, because it has A, B, and C. So this is the minimum window in S that contains all the characters in T. This is a question that has been asked by Facebook, Amazon, LinkedIn. So it's a hard question. So how can we solve this problem? So we're going to use the sliding window technique here. So we're going to have two pointers, left and right. Left is going to be at the beginning of the window, and right is going to be the end of the window. So um, we also need a data structure, like a hash map or, or an array, to, to record the number of characters uh, that we need uh, from T. Uh, so for instance, initially the array is going to have that A, uh, you need one A, you need one B, and one C. And as we go through the string S, we also have to, um, to update the count of the, of the characters uh, that we have found and also the other characters as well. And whenever we find that, w if we are checking one window and we find that this window has all the characters in T, then we try to, we update the final result and we try to reduce the size of the window um, by moving the beginning of the window forward, by moving left forward by one and checking again. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. So first, some null validation. If s equals equals null, or t equals equals null, return the empty string. Then I'm going to need my final result, which is a result. And at the end of everything, I'm going to return my final result. So as I said before, I'm going to have an array of integer letter count. There's a value of new array of integer of size 128. This is for ASCII. That way I will be able to, to record um, how many characters or how many letters I need from T and what are those letters. So I need integer left, the count initialized to zero, and min length, because the value of integer, the max value. So left is going to be the beginning of the window, of the current window. Count is going to be how many characters I have found um, that are in T. So I'm going to go from left to right in S. And whenever I find a character that is in T, I increment the count. That way I can check if I have all the characters already in the current window. And I can update as necessary and try to reduce the size as necessary. And minimum length will allow me to um, find the minimum window because I, I will check uh, whenever I find a new window that satisfies the condition that has all the characters in T, I will check if it is smaller than the previous minimum window. So that's why it's initialized to the maximum possible value that an integer can have. So first I'm going to go for char C in T that to char array. So I want to uh, I want to say how many characters I need uh, that are in T, or how many characters I need from T, so I'm going to increment the count, so plus plus letter count sub, uh, sub T, uh, that actually sub C, yes. So increment the count of every character that I have in T. And then I'm going to have my my right for integer right, this value of zero right is less than s dot length plus plus right. Okay. So as I said before, left is going to be the beginning of the window. Right will denote the end of the window. Um, but right initializes as to zero. So whenever I want to calculate, I have to add one to it. I will show you later. So first, as I examine the elements one by one from left to right, I'm going to use right to check that element. So whenever I see a new element, I want to decrement uh, the count of that element. 
in the array and that's gonna let me know that uh, I have seen this element and I decrement the count so how many times I have seen this element so minus minus letter count sub s the char at right and when I decrement the element at that position I check if that element was one of the ones that I needed from t how do I do that I have an if statement and I see if after I decrement that is what I is what I have left greater than or equal to zero after I decrement the count if that's the case that means that the count was positive that, that it was in t because it is not a negative number if it was not incremented here then when I decremented here it would have been negative so but because this is not negative I know that it was one of the characters in t this is one of the characters that are that I need so as I said before I increment the count so now I have found one more character from t as I go through s and then um, I want to check while the count equals equals t dot length what does this mean it means that at this point if I have found all the characters from t in this current window then I want to check if this window is smaller than than the previous minimum window that I found before so to do that I do if mean length is greater than right minus left and that would be right minus left but I also have to add one to it because they, they both start at zero so if the minimum length of this window I mean if the minimum length of the previous window um, is bigger than the minimum length than the length of this window then I have found a new minimum window so I have to update it so mean length gets the value of right minus left plus one and because I have found a new minimum window I also have to update the final result so result gets the value of s that substring from left inclusive to right plus one exclusive so from the beginning of the window to the end of the window and then because um, what I have to do now is that because I have found all the characters in T in this window I want to try to reduce the size of the window and how do I reduce the size of the window by moving the left pointer forward so I have to discard that character how do I discard the character first I increment the count of the character letter count plus plus letter counts of s that char at left so I discard the leftmost character because I'm trying to to shrink the window from left to right to reduce the size of the window so I discard that character by incrementing the count in the array for this character position left and I also check if after discarding that character after adding one to that character if it is greater than zero what does that mean it means that it was one of the characters from t that I needed so now I decrement count minus minus count so it means that it was one of the characters from t because it would not be bigger than zero after incrementing it if we had been um, if he had not been in T because of what we did before, right? Um, so that's the condition here. That's how we know that if we increment the character position left, if it is bigger than zero, the count, then we know that it was one of the characters from T. So we have to decrement the number of characters that we have found so far. And we move the window forward. So let's check this let's test it run the code it seems to be correct so I'm gonna submit the code okay six milliseconds faster than 80.66 percent of Java online submissions for minimum window substring so um, this is a solution in big O of n time using the sliding window technique 
uh, please um, like the video if you want more videos like this one and don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.